This is a follow-up video to a video that I made about New World saying, don't believe the hype, New World is still awful. Now, this follow-up video is for all of the commenters, all of the Redditors, and the forum posters who could not type a few words into search. So, I'm going to spoon-feed them the proof of everything that I said in the video is true and remind them why <laughs> New World is still awful. So, let's get into it. So the first thing in the video I talked about was bot, the botting problem, problems with bots. You can literally run outside of town on any server that's populated. You'll see random gibberish spam names just harvesting all day and night. They never get banned. Okay, so here's what I did. I went to reddit slash r slash new world game and I typed bot into the search engine. Then I clicked sorted by new. Look at all these threads. Five days ago on this one, five days ago, six days ago, six days ago, seven days ago. You know why there's none that's rather recent? Because they're all getting deleted. Downvote, like this one looks zero points downvoted. Zero points downvoted. Okay, they're getting downvoted. They're getting hidden. If I go to undid it and search, you'll see so many deleted posts. But here, you know, just I'm just going to scroll through real quick. Like, uh, God, good God, there's lots of bots, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, here's a straw man. It's something we need to get used to in MMORPGs, I guess. No, no, we don't. You know what? Hire one guy. Hire one wagey to take care of the bots, okay? If a private server on World of Warcraft that has 10,000 people playing 24-7, that's not 10,000 people total. That's 10,000 people in the morning, 10,000 people at noon, at night, overnight, etc. That's probably 100,000 concurrent players on that one server. If two people on a private server can completely delete and eradicate and police all botting activity to where there is not a single possible bot, then a multi-billion dollar Amazon company can do it for a game with 20,000 people. Like, seriously. It, botting, you just hire a guy, just pay him minimum wage. And yes, there will be people out there, there'll be some teenager that would work for nine bucks an hour that'll set at a computer game and, fl and speed around in Game Master God mode and just ban bots. It's not hard. Yes, you could automate it, sure. But no, just hire a guy to do it. Solve the botting problem. You want to know why they won't solve the botting problem? Because it makes them money. The shareholders are like, Bro, did you just ban all the bots? Excuse me? That, that, that's player counts, bro. Those are paying customers too. And the shareholders don't give a damn about your, you know, good game experience. They just care about money and numbers. All right. Have you seen Lost Ark? If you have not seen Lost Ark's botting problem, well, Amazon is in charge of that too. And so the botting problem is also in New World. I mean, just look at these threads. I can't play this game anymore. I'm just so sick of the bots. And they're not doing anything to fix it. And there's so many people talking about this. I, again, do I have to spoon feed you everything? I mean, look at this. This is a week ago. Bot trap. Try on your server, smiley face, winky face. This is a video of a bunch of bots being trapped on tents or fireplaces or whatever you want to call them, campsites, okay? I'm not going to play the video because I don't own the rights to play the video. I haven't asked this. I don't have a Reddit account to ask this guy if I can use this in my video. But I can use a still image. That's totally allowed because this is transformative. Anyway, so there you go. Everyone's like doing God's work. Haha, <laughs> it's so good. So fun. Bots drove me away from the game. Oh my God, this is amazing. See, botting is a problem in this game. Stop trying to say that it isn't or stop trying to, to cope and say that we, you know, bots are just a thing now. You just have to live with it. These are people that pay real money for gold instead of actually like going out and chopping their own damn trees. Next up is the fact that family shared accounts got free copies of the game. Can you imagine giving dupers, exploiters, bots, spam bots, gold shilling bots, the, uh, the farming bots, free copies of the game because they used family share and this wasn't like manually done this was an algorithm they just had some kind of automated system where if you ever family shared one single time for those that don't know for on steam a family share is where you have a second account and that second account can play all the games that you own on your first account that's what family sharing is it doesn't work anymore but anyone that did back in the day mainly to uh, make extra mules to hold tens of thousands of the rarest materials in the game all got emailed on their family shared account. Hey, uh, so we disabled family sharing, but 
uh, we're going to go ahead and give you a copy of the game so that you can keep playing with your friends, family, whatever. And so this is just a thread proving its existence. You can, again, you could search this. You can see so many different threads uh, about this exact topic. You can see this one got locked um, because, uh, you know, Amazon no like you when you talk about it. Someone had doubts that I'm still in the New World Creator program, even though I don't play anymore and I make literal videos against the game. Uh, until they fix it, that is. Here's a screenshot. It's, uh, I can't make this any bigger, but this is a screenshot of email, New World Creators. You can see September 21st, um, as of filming 927. Oh, that's just a comment for the video that I made yesterday. But, um, you can see September 21st, September 8th, August 30th, all, uh, stuff. I think one of these is for, uh, V Rising. Yeah, the September 8th one is a V Rising, so that, that doesn't apply. But the rest of these are all, um, New World Creator crap. The only benefits you get for being a New World Creator is you get free tickets to PAX West and Gamescom, which I'm not flying to America for PAX West, and Gamescom's a little too far away, so, uh, and that already happened anyway. I'm not going to those. And then someone doubted that, I send tha that I've sent over a thousand support tickets, okay? This is uh, a, a quick screenshot of how many tickets that I've, I've basically sent in a single like setting, okay? Let me let me explain why I have thousands of tickets. Uh, okay, back in like December, I crafted a Needler, which is supposed to be a legendary sword, and uh, well, you know the type of sword, the stabby, thrusty sword. And I'm not gonna say the name because YouTube no likey. And guess what? When you craft a Needler, it crafts as epic and not legendary. So I put in a ticket for it. Never got answered. Never got solved. Never got a human response. And I don't know about you, but I have some sort of crazy determination where I will continuously send out emails, make phone calls, which I don't own a phone, but when I was a wagey, I had to do these kinds of things. Make phone calls, freaking make, you know, establish some form of contact until it is resolved or answered. And th this was back in December, and it's now September. So it's been nine months of me sending tickets for that one issue. And guess what? Every time there's another issue, another bug, another glitch, another false mass report ban on my account, guess what? I'm sending tickets. I'm still sending tickets the first time I got chat muted for like two hours back in October when I opened my mouth one time and the entire server hated me for being in a guild that uh, is famous for bombing a funeral on planet side. Okay, so I'm, st I'm still sending tickets in for that. I never stop. I literally spend at least an hour every single day of my time just resending tickets because they just get randomly closed with no response. And I'm going to keep sending the tickets until they're answered because I have that weird ob obsession to get this answered and get this closed out and get an actual response. So, of course, yes, I have sent thousands of tickets. It's been nine months and they're piling up and they're going to continue to pile up until they're answered. And you may be thinking, well, you're just like crazy. You're some sort of schizo psycho. And hey, you know what? Uh, I had a Twitter account from 2019 uh, in, in August that got locked randomly. And I don't have a phone to unlock it. And guess what? I put tickets into Twitter every single day, multiple times a day. And it's been three years. And that Twitter just got unlocked today. So yeah, it took me three years of putting in support tickets to Twitter, but I got it freaking resolved, didn't I? And I'm going to get this resolved. I'm going to get my damn Needler to Legendary. I'm going to be the only player in existence with a Legendary Needler. All right, and then there's people that don't believe that there's a speed hack. I have so many videos on my channel of me doing a now fixed speed hack. However, there are still plenty of speed hacks that still work. This video by Kon Konosko, um, named Hacker Unsigned Long, buying territories on Atlantis for the Imperium Company. Now, this guy is not a hacker. He's just using a speed exploit to run super fast. I'm not going to show you the video because I am not allowed to. Go to this guy's channel. Here's the title of the video. Type it into search. You can see for yourself, as of September 8th, 2022, it is still active. And I have more. I have more examples. Here's a video that's actually mine. Now, this is just something I filmed in private, just to show off. This is from 8-21-2022. That is August 21st. So that is just a month ago. Uh, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think the volume's fine. Look, you can see how fast I'm moving. You can see in the top left corner that it's literally my character moving this fast. This is not someone else. This is not edited. This is literally footage live look like this is legit footage of speed hack and this is not a hack this is a glitch 
There, there are so many different ways to glitch your speed like this, and I can make this go faster. I can actually go way faster, but it gets a little hard to control if you go too fast, okay? Now I'm just running around a really good hide farming spot and just shooting animals. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm just showing its practicality that it can be done, all right? Now here's another one. I don't have a date for this one or proof of a date, but it shows that I can run up walls. Yes, this is my character, and yes, I am just running straight up mountains because I can. Because there is a glitch in the game that makes it where I don't have to obey the laws of physics in New World anymore, allowing me to just scale mountains and cut through across the world super easy. I'm also obviously moving super fast. You can see that when I do fall, that it's a normal speed, and it's not some sort of crazy editing trick. You can see I can crawl quickly. All right, this is all recent stuff. Still can move around, still can maneuver around very fast. And then there's people that claim that I'm trying to kill the game or that I don't care about the game. Look, if New World succeeds, I succeed. So here, I'm going to give you a hint as to how to break your speed. Just a hint, though. I only want creative people to figure this out, okay? In the game, there is a stat called Shield Block Movement Speed. And with it, you can kind of bug out your regular movement speed, as I'm showing here. I'm not going to tell you the method or how or what buttons to push, but it is a keybind that's, I don't think, normally bound. Uh, so, yes, you can, you, you can change your speed by just having certain stats on your gear and hitting a certain keybind. Then people doubted the fact that you can fly in this game. You can't fly up and down without walking up and down slopes, okay? But... Try as I might, I could not find a recent uploaded video of this, but it is absolutely still possible. I did it in August. As a matter of fact, I'm sitting on a sus an in-game suspension because I wanted to see if they would even suspend me for doing it. So what I did was I went to Windsward and I hovered above the town square and I told everyone in voice chat, report me. Hey, I'm above you. Look up. Report me. I'm testing something. Report me. It'll be okay. Right, and eventually they did report me a bunch, and uh, I think it was just an automated ban. Let's be honest, because when I, you know, answer, submit support tickets, I get no human response, and it doesn't say that I'm uh, suspended for cheating. Uh, it doesn't really say what I'm suspended for at all. So, <laughs> uh, but it is possible to fly. Now, this this particular video is uh, you again. You can go on Reddit. This is called New World. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's another New World glitch flying exploit. And yes, it is 10 months ago. I could not find a recent video for it. I can't log in and show you a video of me doing it. I'm on a suspension right now anyway. And again, there's so many examples of this on Reddit and the internet in general. At least there's not any recent ones. I've tried searching many different engines and I can't seem to find one because the people that are actually doing this are not sharing it. But it is still possible and you can take my word for it or not. It's, it's, why would I lie? I'd have no, I have no benefit to making up stories about some stupid game, okay? But yeah, here's one, um, new flying bug, it took three log to fix. Uh, it's, you can actually fix it way easier with a certain keybind, but whatever. Uh, so, so this person's just hovering around, all right? And then people are like, well, there's not a working dupe, there's not a working dupe, and yes, there is. If you go to, uh, like, like, one of, one of my friends, uh, he does RMT for several different games, and this is his little sales... Uh, icon here. This is obviously, uh, what is this? Elden Ring. We've got Minecraft. We've got, uh, here we go, Major Luck Loot tro Trophies. He's got tons of those, all duped. He's got a method to max your money, and I think cyber, I think that's Cyberpunk. Uh, this is obviously Lost Art Cards, which I don't think you can trade those. That's weird, so I don't know why he has that there. Uh, oh, okay, so he's something to do with um, Lost Ark, um, whatever this is. I don't remember. Uh, Diablo 2 Zod runes and Enigmas. Look at all those dupes. I Infinite Voidment breastplates. Okay, this dude's got several stacks of uh, star metal. It looks like, and yeah, he's clearly yeah he's he's got a dupe method. But there are so many little collages or image, you know, f you know, little fun things that show just how crazy the duping actually got, and people are like, oh, it doesn't affect the economy in today's age. Yes, it does. It will always affect the economy forever. It's called uh, generational wealth. Uh, so <laughs> if you're just starting out on a server, you're never going to have the millions of coin that these big massive guilds have, even if there was ne Let's say a dupe method never existed, okay? Just pretend in an alternate universe dimension that duping never happened in New World. 
but companies that control the entire damn map are still loaded. And if you're not in their company, you are playing their game. You are playing second fiddle to them. You are on the lower cast. You're in the poor ghetto, and they're in the rich, the rich gated community. And I'm pretty sure in my video I complained about Group Finder not working, not being used, or taking forever. And you can see, here's a post 14 days ago. Why are people not joining Group Finder? And there's a whole bunch of suggestions to improve it. And let me tell you right now, okay? Uh, we haven't talked about player counts and population yet, but back in Wrath of the Lich King days, where there were literally millions of people playing World of Warcraft, and the Dungeon Finder in World of Warcraft was cross-server, okay? And as a DPS, it took you over an hour even on the highest populated servers, which I played, to find a group in World of Warcraft. Do you know how long it takes to, um, to find a group in New World if you're not a tank? Uh, if you're not a healer? It takes all damn day. So, again, that's more of a personal gripe because, uh, you know, maybe you're super social, you've got your friendship click, you're willing to bend the knee for your guild and suckle on their cheesy toes, but I'm not. And I don't have... Any friends, because I'm a social outcast YouTuber that spends all day making these videos instead of actually pretending to be normal for virtual greeds. Okay, so it's more of a me issue, but <laughs> group finder, not fun. It's broken. It's, what are you doing? It's not a reason to come back and play the game. I mean, look at this, okay? Average wait time, <laughs> four minutes. Time in queue, one hour, 28 minutes. Now, this is World of Warcraft, okay? This is not New World. But World of Warcraft had way more players and way more people doing dungeons than New World does. So there you go. All right, so I don't have a screen thing that you can look at, so you're going to have to listen to my voice for this next point, okay? People were complaining in my comments and on forums that I took a dig at the Great Sword, okay? This is the bo this is the truth. Great Sword is a crappy weapon. Great Sword sucks. Yes. It's a cool weapon. It's like your Cloud Strife. It's got a counter ability. It's got a triple cross slash. It's got a little whirly spin move, okay? But let me tell you, the Onslaught Tree on the Great Sword is just a crappier Void Gauntlet. You have no business using it in any professional setting other than to look cool or to maybe you just want to use the sword and not a, a space, you know, cybernetic glove purple weapon, okay? Defiance is worse than sword and shield setup. If you're going to tank a dungeon and you're using a greatsword, get out of my group. Like, why, what are you doing? Put on a sword and shield. The sword and shield does everything Defiance does, but way better. You're just gimping your group just to be a cool guy. Also, another thing, too, which I haven't confirmed, and I would love if some of you guys could confirm it for me because I'm not logging into the public test realm. I'm not going to I'm not going to bother. But do you remember back in the day in New World and and new players uh, like a lot of people commenting are they appear to be new players that didn't actually play the game on launch and through like from launch to like February. They all quit in October. But let's be real. But remember when half the passives in weapon trees didn't work correctly at all? And you had a bunch of YouTubers running around doing science experiments and heavy research to see the actual stats that these passives gave you and that the fact that some passives on some weapons completely bugged out the weapon entirely, okay? So I want you to go onto the public test realm and try out the Great Sword and see how many of those passives do and do not work, okay? I guarantee you that it's not going to be fixed. Um, when the Great Sword officially launch it, launches one in October, it's a cool weapon, but it sucks. And I, um, I'm gonna be like, I told you so. And now let's say maybe Amazon got their head out of their ass and they actually did the passive tree correctly. There's even spelling errors in the passive tree. Spelling errors. They're an American co company, a multi-billion-dollar company, and they're they have spelling errors. <laughs> Now, I also don't have a visual for this, so you're going to have to listen to my voice again, but there were so many people in the comments complaining that in the video I used old war footage uh, from the game's launch day. Now, the reason I use the old world, the, the war footage, is because there's fresh start servers, so it's kind of relevant because PvP activity is more fun to look at uh, than chopping trees or just standing in town talking, but also... <laughs> Uh, a lot of the comments 
immediately looked at my weapon combination of great axe and bow and they were they just immediately dismissed me as being a newbie that didn't know how to play the game excuse me uh, if anything they just showed their hand that they are the newbie and let me explain okay because when the game launched on launch day the fastest possible weapon to level up with was the great axe okay because the cleave was bugged and double hit the passive would get stuck on your character, giving you 30% extra run speed, okay? But also, the bow had another exploit where if you just switch to it and then roll animation cancelled, you got another 20 to 30% move speed. So, of course, I'm going to be using that, but also, I was in a PvP Zerg guild and we were all required to use Great Axe so that we could chase down targets, hold them, pin them down, grab them, slow them, cripple them. Okay, and also in the war itself, the bow is used to shoot things while you're waiting on heals or standing on capture points. So anyone that tried to point out that I'm a noob because I'm using a great X and a bow obviously didn't play efficiently when the game launched or they would have known these things. They weren't in the betas. They weren't in the alphas. They didn't put 200 hours into the into the open beta test and learned all these little sploits because it was really, really easy to bug out the Great Axe passive so that you just constantly had that 30% extra run speed chase passive everywhere you went. And yes, that did eventually get fixed, but uh, in the early parts of the game, it was vital to speed leveling. And you can see proof in the video because I was level 42 in that video and almost everyone I fought was in the mid-20s. So I had a 20 level advantage over people in these wars. All right, and I think it was the first war on the server. Also, if anyone wanted to critique how bad or good I am in, in the war, I was literally on the yellow team fighting for the green team as, well, I don't know what the, the term is, but a mercenary, right? Yeah, that's the term I believe the game uses, but it's been a while. It's almost been a year. But <laughs> you got to remember, like... You, I had no leveling in any other weapon tree because I didn't use any other weapon because I was speed leveling to level cap, which you use the Great Axe for for the double cleave hit, which got fixed, and like I said, the movement speed bug. And on top of that, the Great Axe was how you charged through rivers of water very quickly because when you uh, had to tread through water, you would be very slow, but the charge ability would let you just run right through rivers and then you could bow swap you could spam the triple animation rolling movement cancel uh th this is just the most efficient fastest way to move about the world okay we didn't have super cheap uh the the blue energy crystal thingies whatever it's called to teleport around the world no teleporting cost a hell of a lot but i was on the winning guild on two servers and so the teleporting cost wasn't th that bad for me, but it's still, like, this was the most efficient way to run. So <laughs> even whenever the, the move speed thing got fixed on the Great Axe, let's just pretend in a universe it was fixed. If you just run at rabbits or critters or, you know, wild animals, you still had that movement speed boost just looking at them, okay? All right, it's time to educate you about player counts because there is a, a correct and an incorrect player count. First off, we're going to go to Steam and look at the New World player count. It's currently showing 39,213 people online at this moment. However, the actual player count is 33,905 because that extra 4,000 or 5 or however many thousand it's counting are people at the login screen. Just AFK, just leaving their game running. These are how many players are actually connected to the world right now. It is, uh, I believe it's prime time. It, yeah, this, this kind of looks like prime time for EU Central. You can see that it's uh, EU Central. This is the most players. And because in Europe, more people play than in the, the United States servers, okay? But the United States servers peak today at, uh, let's, let's go, yeah, yeah, like right here, 13 and 4. That's pretty good. So that would be, what, uh, seven? Uh, let's round it up to 18,000, okay? So that's 18,000 U.S. players, which is not terrible, okay? Um, and then Europe, of course, peaked around, or they're peaking right now at, at 20K. Uh, for worldwide, peaked at 33K. That's actually pretty impressive compared to what it was. Let's see what it was. All right, so here's the history of the entire game. The game launched, you know, in September, right? And, uh, you know, here's your 900k player count peak. And then, oh, no, by the time of October, one month, down to 300k. November, 100k. 
This well, 145k. I'll be genuine. And then December, 100k. This is about the time when I'm like, screw this game. It's it's on its death throes. Okay. Then January, 67k. February, 34k. March, April, May, June. Now we're down to 21k in June. All right, we're below 20k in July, and then it starts coming back up a little bit. 24, 25, 26k. Now you needed to realize 10% of these numbers are bots. That's 2000, like August 22nd. That's 2,400 bots, at least minimum. It's probably more than that. But I'm being generous here. 40K, 42K, 45K. And then we got 39K and so on, right? So it's it's going back up. You can see here, it's increased by a 43%. However, look, look at the numbers. 900K peak and now 45K peak. That is... That is less than 10% of the remaining player base. And hey, maybe it'll come back. If it does, great. We all benefit. I especially benefit because I have 180 videos on this game, uh, which will people will click on because they'll want to learn how to play. All right, so what about interest? Search interest, worldwide interest. We have, this is Google Trends if you've never seen this. I have a worldwide search in the past 90 days for video games on the web, not YouTube. We're comparing Minecraft, New World, Roblox, World of Warcraft, and Albion Online, which is what I mainly play on this channel. You can see here that Minecraft blows everyone out of the water with Roblox coming in second, obviously. And then way down here in the absolute dirt bottom is Albion Online. World of Warcraft is actually lower than New World right now. That's a good sign. So you know what? Let's take away Minecraft because we don't really need to compare an MMO to a building game in Roblox. Take those two away, and here's what it actually looks like, okay? Here's new, this is the past 90 days, New World's in the blue. It's just kind of going up, it's, you know, it's going up, look, it's uptrending. It, right when September hit, everyone's like, hey, let's come back to New World, guys. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit up and down, because, you know, at certain parts of the day, more people are active than other parts of the day. That's what this is. And certain days, like weekends, people are busy working or whatever, Okay. You can see here, World of Warcraft, not as many people are interested. Now, this is only on the 23rd. Today, I'm filming this on the 27th, which yesterday, the new Wrath of the Lich King came out. So I guarantee you that once this thing updates, that World of Warcraft is going to be way above, way, way, way above uh, New World. Maybe, maybe not. You know, maybe New World might actually get the comeback story that it wants. You can see down here in the very bottom is this poor old Albion online. They're just swimming on the bottom. Just being a little bottom feeder in the ocean, that is the internet search engines. So I just wanted to share that, you know, just to show you that New World does not have a lot of players, not as many as that you think. Your world is much, the, the world of the internet and gaming in general is much bigger than, than uh, you expect. Like, I can type another, like, popular game, like Apex Legends. That's a popular game. I don't play it. I don't know. Well, it's apparently not that popular. Let's try again. Let's try Call of Duty. All right, they just had a beta. I bet this is going to be... Oh, look at that. Call of Duty just way up here, man. So, um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I should be a Call of Duty YouTuber. I'm actually going to do that. This, this has convinced me to make Call of Duty videos. And there's several other things that I forgot to cover in the, in the original video anyway, like all the, the aimbotters in Outpost Rush. Holy crap, aimbotting. There's people that, like throttle down their gpu to the point where the game looks like runescape so that they can ignore growing grass to see you easier and shoot you with powder burns there's so many other things that i didn't even touch on and i'm not going to because i think i touched on the main more important stuff that people mainly have issues with and uh a lot of people are like, why did you make this video? If you don't like the game, I, this is a big comment too, if you don't like the game, then don't play it why are you making this video? And it's to inform you, to be truthful. I'm a truthful person. Uh, you know, you, some a lot of YouTubers, they do it as a business. Like, okay, yeah, for a business model, you should be positive because the downvotes you get on Reddit, the, the dislikes you get on YouTube, they don't, they don't help your video get far. But uh, this is a hobby. This is not a job. This is, this is me with you, the lad. You are the lad on the couch. We're playing video games together. You and me, we're bros. We're friends. We... Um, you and me. It's it's you and me, man. And would you lie to your friend? Would you turn to your friend and be like, with a creepy smile, like you're possessed by a demon, and be like, New World is making a comeback. Aren't you excited? And you're like, no, no. And then you tell your friend all the reasons why, and they're like, oh, 
You're a bad man. Unsubbed. Unfriended. Disliked. <laughs> oh, and of course the comments get astroturfed by bots. Like, here's two separate accounts, convincingly enough, with the same exact profile picture. And before you say anything, I did do several reverse image searches on this picture to make sure it's not like a popular meme or a character or, or anything. It's not. It's an AI-generated fake image of someone who doesn't actually really exist. Uh, like, if you go to that website, like, thispersondoesnotexist.com, you can just generate a person. That's what this is. This is, uh, also funny enough, I actually saw this comment when it was posted in one minute, and in the second minute when I refreshed my comments, it already had 20 updutes. So that's very, uh, sus. That is very astroturfy, and yes, I have removed all the astroturf comments. Alright, let's address some of the comments real quick from the video. Uh, the Fly Hamster says, The Battlegrounds game. You don't know anything about this game. <laughs> yes, I do. Just because I forgot that it's called Outpost Rush. I have 180 videos on the game. I am literally a video game researcher. That's what, that's what I do on this channel. I know everything about the game. Alright, well that's all I've really got for this video. This is just another uh, Reddit thread 10 months ago about how Amazon's giving away free games if you family shared. And it's... That's just the silliest thing that I believe that this game has done, besides all the exploits and hacks and dupes and whatnot. Guys, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. And uh, yeah, look out for those uh, AstroTurf commenters. Uh, for those that don't know, Amazon has a, has a thing called Ilm Turk, which people can go on there and they can request services, like digital services. You can go on there and be like, I will pay you four cents if you leave a negative comment on this. And people will will do it. Like, Amazon will will spend thousands astroturfing for their game instead of actually fixing the issue and, you know, just paying a guy minimum wage to delete bots every time they see them. It's really silly stuff. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I read every single comment, so go ahead and leave a comment. And there's a video on the screen right now. Go ahead and click that video. And uh, I make videos every day. Make sure you're subscribed. Because these kinds of videos, a lot of angry Redditors will unsubscribe. Unsubs and yes, my bucket list is to hit 100k subs before I die. And uh, it could be any day now. So um, <laughs> make sure you subscribe so I can check that off my bucket list. Uh, because like I said, this video is going to get a lot of people angry. Even though I just showed them, literally, I'm telling the truth. Anyway, video on the screen. Click it. Make sure you're subbed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. I'll see you then. Take care, lads.